And earlier this week, Pendleton County Commission put forth a resolution opposing the National Radio Quiet Zone. The Radio Quiet Zone enables critical scientific research and government observation, but can also hinder emergency responders. 12 News digital reporter Sam Gorski has more. On Tuesday, the Pendleton County Commission put forth a resolution officially condemning restrictions imposed by the National Radio Quiet Zone. If you aren't familiar, the National Radio Quiet Zone is a region that covers more than 10,000 square miles and limits the kind of radio transmissions that can be broadcast in the area. While radio transmissions aren't outright prohibited in the quiet zone, restrictions in certain areas can cause big problems for first responders who need to be ready for emergencies no matter where they might happen. In, in several ways, there is no workaround because everything we rely on is being limited by the quiet zone. We rely not only digital radio systems, but, but data systems such as mobile data terminals and police vehicles, ambulances. One option that provided some hope to responders and residents was Starlink, which enables high-speed satellite internet almost anywhere, almost being the key word. Starlink is still fairly new, and that means it can introduce new problems. Not only is there ground-based interference, but increasingly there's space-based interference. The problem now is you've got things flying overhead and potentially right in the most sensitive part of the beam of the telescope, right, right where it's pointing in the sky, you can have a satellite pass through that beam. That's not only does that cause RFI, but that even has the potential to damage sensitive receivers. The National Science Foundation has committed to a $2 million study to find solutions to this problem, with Pendleton as the pilot community. But that will take time and won't be a solution for tomorrow or next week. There is a technical solution and we will work hard to get there. There is a technical solution um, that may cost money. Uh, but there is a technical solution, and NRAO is committed to making sure that the people of Pendleton County are safe uh, and that the missions of Sugar Grove and the National Radio Astronomy Observatory can continue. We respect the missions of the Sugar Grove Research Station and the Green Bank Observatory. We ask that they respect ours, and, and, and I want the folks to know that we're not going to give up. We're going to find a resolution that allows us to do our jobs the same as anybody else. Reporting from Clarksburg, I'm Sam Gorski, 12 News.